All right, hey everybody. Mr. Jinx is heading home. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> He's like, yeah, get me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. All right, so Carol's here, so we're gonna get on our carts and we're gonna follow Jinx going home. He was very good patient until he's ready to go. So Jinx the Black Leopard came uh, into the or into the Winsong Memorial Hospital yesterday to see Dr. Justin for the first time for a full exam. And he got a little bit of everything done. But he did get neutered. Um, he had three incisors that were removed. He's got a cracked canine, which is going to need probably Dr. Gingrich to come and do a root canal on that. But he's wide awake and very alert. So now it's time for him to go back outside. He'll be getting some pain medication. <laughs> Duchess loves to chase the hospital cats. She's so, you're so weird. Everybody else runs from the transports. <laughs> Here's Duchess again. All right, so again, if you're just joining, Jinx, our black leopard, he's 21 years old. He saw the vet yesterday. Mr. Flat Cat's heading back outside. about the masses. Um, Dr. Justin took samples of those. He has quite a few of them on him. They're maybe about the size of a quarter, a little bit bigger. Um, we're hoping they're just fatty masses, but we will know in time once we get results back. I think we also sent out his blood work as well. We didn't run any in-house, so just got to wait on some results. tour time right now, so I'm sure I'm sure the tours might be like, what's happening? Got a little jinxy train going on here. Like four or five golf carts here. Yeah, he weighed about 106 pounds. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're being very good. Home. Would you come to watch, Bonnie? You're home. Wow, wow. Welcome home. See if I'm done. All right, silly boy. There you go. Exactly like he came out as how he's going back in. <laughs> All the same maneuvers. All the maneuvers. <laughs> so when he come out through the, uh, the little uh, lockout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was very efficient. <laughs>
Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, he's going to live by himself still. He's not going in with anybody else. They neutered him because that is our policy here, and it can actually help prevent health problems. So even at his age, that's what we decided. And he's coming over. Yeah, I was like, we, we have to watch our backs now on the side. <laughs> The helper. <laughs> nope. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Step back. I'm going to go that way. reverse. You would just be in a statue. There you go. Move that paw. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> Manny's moving in slow motion over here. Oh boy. We didn't need your help, buddy. Ready? Sorry. Ready? Good job, buddy. Yep, go as far away as you can. Here he goes. All right, now he's two doors away so they can repatch his lockout. We're gonna follow him. Look buddy, you're back to your platform. He's like, I'm gonna go to my den all the way in the back. So he is healing from being neutered as well as having three incisors removed. He's gonna go to the furthest point. Can't blame him. Into the den. <laughs> oh, Meester. Thank you so much, everybody, for the donations. You see his little tail disappear. Are you back home, Bubbun? <laughs> we'll check the other little side, but he's probably going to be out of sight for a little bit. But he's home. Back in the comfort of his own home. <laughs> yep, cannot see him at all. All right, we'll say hi to Armani, and then that'll be it. We're just going to patch up his enclosure. You guys know that Jinx is finally home after his vet visit yesterday. Hi. This is Armani. Are you welcoming him? Yeah, you can't blame the cats. When they get caught and then they go into the hospital, usually it's quite a bit of... <laughs> He's peering back out. It's quite a bit of um, earning their trust back. Hi, sweet boy. You see Monty's over here saying hi. He's slinking. He's going to watch what they're doing from here. Hi, good boy. Slinkin, slinkin. Good job, Jinxie. Everything's still where it was, yeah. It's all where it was. Still a little dopey, but he's doing really well. He'll be sleepy for a couple days, plus he's on some pain medication, so we always have to monitor them when they start a new med like that.
Yep. I think because he's a leopard, he's always going to have that stalking ability. Are you just watching? You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy, Jinxie. He's watching every move they're making over there. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. So thanks again to everybody who donated during the lives yesterday during his procedure. And if you want to rewatch any of that, you can go to dailybigcat.com. Otherwise, he is back out in his enclosure, ready to explore. Where are you going, buddy? He's like, I don't really know where I want to go. Jinx is 21 years old. Well, it was his very first exam ever here at Big Cat Rescue, so I'm sure he had an exam when he was confiscated by the state, but <laughs> he is. He's been watching every move you guys are making. But yep, Jinxie's home. So we'll get um, blood work results and um, the samples that Dr. Justin took from some of the um, little masses that he has on him. He did get neutered, he did get um, some teeth removed, so he's on some pain meds for all that. He loves laying under that platform, so that might be where he settles in. His yellow ball is still there, which I'm sure he's excited about. Everybody. Well, thank you guys so much for all the donating and answering questions and sharing of this and everybody who loves and supports our Jinx here. We'll keep checking in with them um, throughout the rest of the week. So, <laughs> He's not sure yet. <laughs> I know. We We's going to have lots of making up to do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you guys very much. He's going to go back into that lockout and get water, which will be really impressive because we caught him in that lockout. So. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. I'll see you uh, tomorrow.